was foul. He picked it up and threw it into the stands. Second. Hard takeout. The runner is out at second, and the runner is out at first. It's Lindsay with two plays you asked about. Runner placement after the ball boy fielded a fair ball in Miami, and the Reds called for a slide rule violation double play in Cincinnati. Let's get to it. Freddie dumps one fair just inside the line. That's going to be a dead ball. Yeah. Well, I think the umpires, uh, they're huddled right now. The question, of course, what to do with the runners. Mookie Betts is the lead runner approaching third when we have interference. Rule 601D is ironically called unintentional interference, but also addresses intentional interference by a person authorized to be on the playing field, such as not what they call a ball boy, girl, or envy, but a ball attendant. That's classy. Now they're going to award him whole plate. This play is eligible for replay, though it's not challenged here. You see everything from high home or press box cam. You see where Mookie is when the ball attendant first touches the ball. And so you think, dead ball, had the ball not been interfered with, would Mookie have scored? What you're trying to do is nullify the act by figuring out what would have happened had interference not occurred. Angel Hernandez is everywhere and he's the third base umpire, which means he has the best angle of the entire crew to see what happened and to see what should end up. After discussion, the crew scores Mookie Betts. So it's the umpire's discretion at that point. Get it, I think it's the right call. What you think? Knowing the speed of Mookie Betts, probably. We all make mistakes. One way to prevent against it is watch the umpire's mechanic. If they're pointing fair, then you know. Meanwhile, in Cincinnati, they're down by one run. It is a runner on first and zero out in the bottom of the ninth. Second, hard takeout. I really would like to hear the explanation for why that rule is. St. Louis is challenging the slide rule at second base. A lot of angry Reds fans after this and the ejections from earlier in the game. You can see Stevenson. He's been ejected. There are four criteria for the bona fide slide rule. We're going to go through each one of them and analyze whether this slide met the terms. Second. The first requirement for a bona fide slide is probably the easiest to understand. It requires the runner to begin their slide or make contact with the ground before reaching the base. In this play, the runner clearly is on the ground prior to reaching the base. This criterion is satisfied. Next up, number two, is able and attempts to reach the base with their hand or foot. We see that the runner does reach the base with the hand or foot. It appears they attempted to do that. So let's go ahead and make number two green as well. Now for number three, is able and attempts to remain on the base after completion of the slide. Criterion number three is a little bit more difficult for Cincinnati because the runner clearly does not maintain contact with the base after completion of the slide. You might say, oh, it's because he contacted the fielder, it messed him up. When baseball crafted this rule, they attempted to take out umpire discretion for precisely this reason. And so the sole criterion here is did the runner remain on that base after completion of the slide? This photo shows he clearly didn't. It doesn't matter that he contacted the fielder. A runner is in charge of their body. And if he didn't have his momentum under control, then that's on him. Therefore, this is a violation of provision three of the bona fide slide rule, which means this is not a bona fide slide. After review, the call of no violation at second base is overturned. The runner is out at second, and the runner is out at first. Thanks for the questions. The Close Call Sports Discord is the best way to ask them. Link in the description. Sometimes these rules are complicated and unforgiving, but we're here to analyze them. Please like and subscribe. Visit us at closecallsports.com, and we'll see you on the site.